In this short video, you'll learn how to upload files into SharePoint 2016 document libraries. A document library is just another kind of a list. It's a special kind of a list because it allows you to list or enter files of just about any type. You can upload Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, Excel workbooks, PDFs, just about any kind of file you can store on your hard drive can be uploaded into a SharePoint document library. The default design of most SharePoint website templates includes a document's web part here on the home page of the site. So you can interact with your document library right from here, or you can click into its native context by clicking the title of the document web part here, or the link to the documents library here in the quick launch bar. We'll look at using the document library in both contexts. One, as simply a web part on a page, and two, in its native list environment. You can see the prompt here, drag files here to upload. So as I bring open a Windows Explorer window and select a couple of files, a Word document and a PowerPoint presentation, you can simply drag and drop directly from a Windows Explorer window, in other words, from your desktop, into the browser window. Make sure that you get inside the right drop target as evidenced by the blue box and release your mouse. The files are uploaded. As you'll discover though in SharePoint, there's usually two or three, even four or five ways of doing the same things. For example, another way to upload files, as I click back into the browser window to bring it to the front, would be to click this upload button here. Click upload. A panel will appear, letting you browse for the file or files you'd like to upload. Navigate in the traditional way to the files you would like to upload. And let's say I want to upload a couple of these files here. Click Open. And click OK. And again, the files get uploaded. Now let's look at the Documents Library in its native context as a list. So I'm going to click on the Documents title here. Or, like I said earlier, you could click on Documents in the Quick Launch bar. And we'll be moving now from a page, from the home page, to the document library natively. It may appear in the New Experience or in the Classic Experience. To return to the Classic Experience, click here. And again, it's just a matter of preference, which, uh, which look and feel you like. And now we're into the Documents Library in the Classic Experience. You can still use drag and drop to copy files into the library in the Classic Experience or in the New Experience, as indicated here by the prompt. But you'll notice one thing that you can't do is drag entire folders of files into a document library using drag and drop. I'll demonstrate that, trying to drag this whole folder over. And you see a message that says, we can't upload folders or empty files. However, there is a way to be able to work with entire folders. First, let me dismiss this message. And we'll cover this in a couple of different veins. First, if you want to make a new empty folder in your library, simply click the Files tab of the ribbon and then click the New Folder button. It allows you to create a new folder. I'll create one called BIOS and click Create and the new folder is added. To jump into it, simply click its name once, and you're into the folder. Breadcrumb navigation reminds you that you're inside the BIOS folder that lives inside Documents. To climb back up out of the folder, simply click Documents in the Breadcrumb navigation, and now you're back at the root level of your document library. To delete a folder or any, any other such item, click the ellipsis next to that item, then click the next ellipsis and choose Delete. It'll be sent to the recycle bin. Again, there are other ways of doing that as well, but that's a very common way to, to do it. Now, back to the problem of how to upload folders full of files into a SharePoint document library. First, let's click the Library tab on the ribbon, and we'll look for a button here in the Connect and Export group called Open with Explorer. If it's not available, 
it might be that you need to simply be using a different web browser. Copy and paste the URL. into a different browser. I've been using Microsoft Edge. I'll try Internet Explorer instead. You may have to sign in again. I'll switch into the classic experience because it's got the ribbon. Click the Library tab, and voila, the Open with Explorer button is available now. This is a really amazing feature. What it's going to do as I click it is it's going to open up a Windows Explorer window onto the folder. You might be asked about pop-ups. It's going to open up a Windows Explorer window onto the folder where the document library lives on the SharePoint server. If successful, a Windows Explorer window will appear. And as I widen this window, you'll see in the path bar or address bar of this Windows Explorer window that this is a window onto the SharePoint server, the training SharePoint site, and into, finally, the Documents Library, whose technical name or full name is Shared Documents. Again, what you're seeing here are the files that I have uploaded into the SharePoint Library, but you're seeing them in a Windows Explorer window, so that you can work with their contents in a Windows context, in a window-to-window -window kind of uh, working style. In fact, I'll minimize the browser window just to show you that the browser window doesn't have to be involved at all. In fact, once you get this window open, you wouldn't need the browser window at all. You wouldn't need to be on the SharePoint site. You're literally working with the contents of that SharePoint document library here locally. Oh, excuse me. Poor choice of words. Not locally, but in a Windows kind of a context, in a Windows workflow. Now watch as I can drag this folder full of files into this other window just as if I were dragging it to a USB stick or to a folder on a file server. And it's uploading them to the shared documents library. And there it is. Double click on it, opens it up. We can see that there were five Word documents inside that folder that were all copied up with the folder itself. And as we switch back to the browser window and refresh the browser window, because browser windows don't update themselves automatically just because something happens behind the scenes that, has, that should have changed their content. So you'll need to refresh the browser window, get it to reload this page, in other words, in order to see any changes reflected based on things that have happened behind the scenes. And there's that Composer BIOS folder. Clicking on, it fold, on its folder will show us the five files in there. And then to make it the simplest of all to be able to interact with files on a SharePoint document library, what you can do once you've made a connection to that uh, SharePoint document library, why not just pin that location over here into your favorites area under quick access in the navigation pane on the left hand side of your Windows Explorer window. You can do that so easily. Simply drag this folder here, click and hold and drag down into the quick access area, positioning your mouse in a position between two choices so such that you get that black horizontal bar and you get the prompt that says pin to quick access as opposed to create link in such and such a folder. That would be a fine spot right there, or right there, but not on the Documents folder or on the Downloads folder. I'm not trying to drop this thing into one of those folders or a link to it, I should say. I want to pin it, so I'm going to put it right there so it's at the very top of the quick access list, releasing the mouse button right then, and 
Now, forevermore, there will be a reference to my shared documents library, which lives on, a sh on my SharePoint server, or which lives in a, one of my SharePoint sites on a SharePoint server. And at any time, you can come along and say, hey, I need to work with the document library there. Click, and it takes you right there. You're looking at the files and working with the files in that document library. You can even open them directly from here, but we'll get into opening and editing documents that are in document libraries in the next video.